Hi everyone, good evening, Jennifer here, and tonight I'm going to be showing you how I blow dry my hair. This has been a highly requested video. I did this video when I first started YouTube so many years ago, and it's time for an update. So I apologize for the weird setting. I'm not sure how to film this. That's why I haven't done it yet, but I'm basically in the downstairs bathroom and that's me in the mirror. So you're going to be looking in the mirror and there's my light. It's just weird, so I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm also in my pajamas. I typically um, blow dry my hair at night, so that's when I have time. I don't have time in the morning. There's just no time, so I usually do it at night. I usually blow dry my hair twice a week, sometimes three times a week, but twice a week is usually enough for me. Today's video, I'm just going to show you how I do it. It's quite simple. I know I'm going to get all the comments. Jennifer, why don't you just leave your hair curly? And I could leave my hair curly. I could show you that. Um, right now, it actually looks quite good. If my hair stayed like this, I would totally wear it curly more often. And by the way, you see me hunching over in the mirror because my head is like out of frame. <laughs> So I, I'm not having bad posture, but it's like if I sit up straight, you won't be able to see me. Anyway, this is so weird. But um, where was I? Oh yes, if my hair stayed like this, then I would totally wear my hair curly, but it doesn't. It just gets really huge and frizzy and it just doesn't work for me because I like to keep my hair, um, you know, I wash it twice a week. And so when it's really frizzy like that, it really only lasts one day and then I kind of have to wash it again. So I find that just blow drying it makes it last, you know, half a week and it still looks good and presentable. But I could just show you, you know, my natural hair one time too. There's nothing wrong with natural frizzy hair, okay? So today I wanted to show you what I've been using to blow dry my hair and it's this La Boutte um, elixir serum that I discovered. I don't know if you can see this. I'm, I will link this below. So it's kind of hard because it's see-through. Um, but I discovered this when I, I just had a sample from the beauty supply store um, and I tried it and I was amazed. So I found it on Amazon and I bought it immediately because it was so good at getting the frizz out. So I just washed my hair and I just used this. Um, I already put it in, so I'm not gonna show that part, but I just wanted you to know that that's what I did. So um, generally, all I need to blow dry my hair is my blow dryer, and I'll leave the, the blow dryer that I use linked below, and a round brush. I also use a little clip like this, and maybe another hair tie, but nothing fancy. That's it, I'm just gonna show you how I section my hair off just to blow dry it, um, and, that's, and that's what I do. So let's get started. Okay, I'm sectioning off the top part of my hair into a top knot, and I'm keeping the part there because I like where it is. And now I'm just going to work on the bottom half. So I'm sectioning it off, as you can see here, and I'm just clipping it. You could use hair clips if you want uh, to make that easier, but I've been doing this for so long I just kind of get it all in there. So I'm just working with little sections at a time and I find that when you have a lot of hair like I do um, and, and that every strand kind of needs to be gone over that it's easier just to work in sections. So I just work um, pulling down and when I get to the end of the hair I twist it. So I twist the brush around the ends and get the ends nice and dry so that they have that little flip in them. So as you can see, I'm just working from the back to the front here. And I try to make everything kind of go away from my face. So now I just repeat the same on the other side. Now I'm just finishing off that one section right there. Those front sections are pretty important and it's just good to have them go away from your face. Okay, so I hope that you could see that properly, but you can just see that it's you know nice and smooth and blown out. So now I'm just going to do the top part. This is the most important part because you know this goes um, over this part. You can't really see the back. Um, so this is the part that I focus on the most.
So now I'm just going to secure the bottom half out of the way and I just put it in a little bun. I find that twisting it doesn't really leave any creases in it, but it just gets it out of the way because now I'm working on the top part. So I just put the part where I want it and I just secure that left side there so that it's out of the way. And I'm just going to again work from the back forward on each side of my part. This is one way to do it. I have also done it in the past where I don't have a part and I create one at the end, but I just, I don't know, I find it easier to work with the part. So as I'm shooting this video, I had my baby over four months ago, and this is around the time where I start to lose my hair, you know, the postpartum hair loss, and I'm definitely noticing it. You'll kind of see that my hair looks a lot thinner than it usually does, so it's coming. <laughs> and hopefully I will you know find a way to combat that but now I find this part the hardest to do um, and I'm gonna just bend down here in a second to show you it but this is the thickest part of the hair and I just kind of hold it up it's a good arm workout and I just make sure that it's nice and dry and it's hard to reach it so I usually twist it over like that And now I'm just taking the left side of my hair and I'm actually um, blowing it over to the other side. I just find that this gives it more volume. There's no rhyme or reason to this. This is not professional. <laughs> it's just something that I've become in the habit of doing. So you just do that and then I just twist it with the brush. So run your fingers through everything because the sections will show. And now I'm just going to give some volume at the crown. So I take my brush at the crown and, you know, I just kind of lift it up just to give some volume in the back. And now I'm just going to go on the hair on either side of my face and just kind of uh, you know blow it back just with a little bit of volume and just make sure those ends are nice and smooth Okay, so that is it that is how I blow dry my hair and um, You know, it's just very standard. It's just a sleek kind of smooth blowout. Now what I will do usually in the morning, because I do this at night, is I will take the curling iron and I will go over the ends and then I'll spray it with hairspray. So this is just what I do to get it clean and sleek and that's it. So this blow dry really does work for me. It lasts, um, you know, half a week like this and people ask, you know, how I do my hair and this is it. It's kind of unconventional and I'm sure that professional hairstylists are thinking what on earth is she doing <laughs> but you know what this is what works for me and um, it just it I like it I like my hair like this That's the baby monitor going out so anyway I hope that this video proved useful to you I will leave everything that I use linked below if you have any questions let me know in the comment section I try to get back to people and that is it thank you so much for joining me tonight on the daily connoisseur and I'll see you in my next video Bye.